Hello class. In this video, we are going to, to discuss the existence uniqueness principle for second order linear differential equations. So let P, Q, and F be continuous functions. on an interval i then given any two values b0 and b1 the equation y double prime plus px y prime plus qx y equals fx has a okay I forgot one thing um, given any two values b not b1 And, and a in that interval, this equation, y prime, this equation has a unique, unique is a math word that means uh, one and only one solution that satisfies y a equals b naught and y prime a equals b1. So what this means is that if you have the conditions holding, if p, q, and f are all continuous in your interval, you pick a point, and you pick what value you want your function to have at that point, and you pick what the slope is, what the slope is at that point, there will be exactly one solution that will fit that criteria. They will have that exact value for y at a and that exact slope for y at a. So this is a different existence uniqueness principle than we had for first order ODEs. For first order ODEs, we can only, we could only, we only need it to give a point. So we say that, oh, we want a differential equation to go through this initial condition, to go through this point. But here, it's not enough to just give one initial condition. You also have to give an initial condition for the derivative as well. Right? So if you only give a uh, initial condition for the for the function y itself, there are actually infinitely many different solutions that go through that point, each of a different slope. So the book has some pretty cool pictures about that that you might want to look at, and we'll probably look at those in class as well. But here's the point. The point is that to get a unique solution, one and only one solution, you have to give an initial value for y. That is, you have to tell, you have to, you have to, you have to supply information about what the value of uh, y is at a certain point a, but you also have to give information about the slope, right? But there is exactly one solution for given that point and given that slope.